when we're approaching incisions in dentistry for mucoperiosteal flaps, it's a lot different than it is in general practice for our normal incisions. Usually what we're doing is we're, we're doing a continuous incision uh, for, say, a laparotomy. It's more like this. And in dentistry, we've got this real thin mucoperiosteal flap that we're trying to elevate off of the bone. And in doing so, it's very easy to disrupt that. So what we want to do is use the scalpel in stab incisions instead of continuous incisions. And one thing that we can't do is have that scalpel where it's parallel to the tooth. And that's the thing that we actually gravitate to naturally is to have that like this parallel to the tooth. And in reality, what happens is it slips off the bone and we'll rip that flap before we even get our periosteal elevator out to start to elevate. So what we want to do is make sure that when we make these little stab incisions that we start at about a 15 degree angle and we go at the margin of the gingiva and we take it up underneath that, that gingiva in the sulcus and then we make these little stab incisions as we go. And having that at at least a 15 degree angle, what we're doing is we're pressing that down, we're going through the junctional epithelium, and we're landing on that marginal bone. So it allows for a very safe approach, keeping in mind that that angulation needs to be present throughout the length of the incision, and you can ensure that your flap initiation will allow for non-traumatic exposure to that bone and make your whole procedure a lot quicker and easier.